All right, printers and guardians, JD it. Kunge. And student tenants begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, community. Talking it. Jumbi. All right. From here, we're going to start off with a warm up. We're going to start off with one minute. Jump, uh, running in place. One minute running in place. All right, so let me get the timer going. All right, here we go. One minute running in place begins now. Excellent. Oh, what up, you all of a sudden? Haven't you all all morning? I even had some good vitamin C and protein and energy and all that, caffeine and all that good stuff, so shouldn't be yawning. Uh, keep it going, keep it going. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah, see, I already I even had seven hours of sleep. Broken sleep. But sleep. Good. 20 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Very nice, very nice. 10 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, one, and time. All right, here we go. Next one's Jeppy Jacks. One minute, Jeppy Jacks, and begin. Good, awesome. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to yawn. 30 seconds. For real, do not know why I'm yawning today. Mm. I have my strength out. You need anybody? 15 seconds. Five seconds. And time. All right, here we go. Next round is going to be squats. Ten, or squats for one minute. Begin. Remember, keep your back straight when you do the squats. All right, if you need to, look up. All right, if you want to bend just your knees. Begin. They're being goofy back there. I don't know if you can see him or not, but you know. They're being goofy. 30, uh, 30 seconds. Uh, keep it going, keep it going. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right, next round, we're gonna do high knees. All right, so make sure when you bring your knee up, it goes above your belt, okay, just like so. All right, belt level or above. All right, fast, you wanna move fast with this one. Okay, one minute and go. Just like so. There we go. Kinda like doing a mountain climber standing up. Yeah, keep it going, keep it going. 30 seconds. Excellent. Keep going, Krupa. Come on, you got this. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, 
Three, two, one, and time. All right, and next round is going to be lunges. Okay, so we're dropping down. Remember, one inch off the ground. All right, one inch off the ground. Here we go. You got one more round after this one. All right, one minute and go. Almost hit the ground. Almost hit the ground. Okay, 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right, we got one more round. Now this round is gonna be interesting. Okay, it's gonna be something that we haven't done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a five-second interval push-up. All right, what I mean by that is we're going to. All right, no, sorry, correction. Three seconds. Yeah. Yes, three seconds. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start in the push-up position, okay, just like so. Every movement, we're gonna do three seconds, okay? So what I mean by that is, we're gonna go down, it's gonna take three seconds. So one, two, three, we're gonna hold three seconds. One, two, three, come back up. One, two, three, and right, then do it again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, just like so, okay? So we're gonna do that for one minute. All right, one minute, here we go. Everyone ready? Everyone good on, uh, Keyshawn Group, are you good on what we're doing? Yeah, okay, cool. All righty, kind of Grupa, are you confused on any of it or just like, all right, let's get it done? I can't do a push up. You uh, do the modified version. You can do it modified. We put our legs up. With the uh, knee on the ground. So like so. Okay. Okay. So, and then you cross the foot. I don't recommend it. But then the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You okay. So it's just like push up, just on the knee. All right. All right, one minute, starting now. So it's take you about nine seconds to do one push-up. Thirty seconds remain. Ten seconds. And time, or go ahead and finish out that last push up that you're doing. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. So, the reason why we were doing that, okay? So, a lot of people think that, oh, in order to get stronger and get better and, you know, get muscles and be able to break boards and stuff like that, we got to do a thousand push ups, right? Not necessarily. So, what it is, is when is your you build muscle with when your muscles are tensed okay when you're you when you're when you put your muscles under tension okay so what you're doing is when you go down and hold it your muscles are still tensed okay they're still tight so they're still working all right and then when you come up 
you give them that second, that couple seconds of rest, and then you go back down. And when you're do, when you're going up and down slower, you're also creating resistance. So not only are you tightening your muscles, but you're also resisting just dropping or resisting just going up. Okay, you're, you're casually, steadily going up and down. All right. So even though you may have only did, let's see, nine second push up, one minute, sixty seconds. So although you probably only did about six or seven push ups somewhere around there. All right. You still got as much effort as if you did doing 60 push ups in a minute. Okay. Because you're keeping that bot your body under that tense point. All right. Uh, and that can go for anything. All right. Fl the times may fluctuate. So it might be, you know, three seconds for something. It might be five seconds for others. Okay. So like, for example, a lunge. Do it for, you could do that five seconds. Um, a squat, you can do that for two seconds, five seconds, things like that. So you can do it for a lot of different ones, all right? Um, uh, there's others though that you would not recommend, like for example, jumping jacks, right? <laughs> Can't hold in the air for a certain amount of time. So uh, that one wouldn't work, but you can do it on some of them. Crunches or sit-ups, that's a good one to do. So, uh, but yeah, anyhow, all right, let's go into stretching. Stretching today, we're gonna to first start off with Frankensteins. So, hands out, one hand, both hands, either one, and coming up. All right, and Frankensteins. Excellent. All right, now, inside swings. So kind of like crescent kicks, inside swings. One leg, one foot, we'll do the other side in a minute. And switch, other side. All right, now let's switch to the other side. Now we're gonna do outside swings. So it's just kind of like similar to the crescent kicks, of course, but uh, you wanna keep your leg locked. Now another thing that also helps too is if you hold your hand out and you go for your hands, okay? Kind of like doing the Frankenstein, same concept. What we're doing is we're unlocking our hips, okay? Go ahead and begin. I'm gonna do it sideways to see how much of a swing, show you how much of a swing you want. So notice it's crescent kick. I'm here, right? Swinging here, really swinging my leg. Okay. Yeah. And go and switch other side. All right, forward arm circles. Backwards. Arm swings. And arms up and down.
All right, now let's take our hands on our hips and hip side to side. Or is it backwards? And hip circles. Other way. All right, now set your hands behind our back, ear to shoulder. Up and down. Left to right. Add circles. Other way. And shady it. Don't get it. All right, so GB stands. Okay, so what we're gonna start off with today, we're gonna do a kick challenge, okay? We're gonna do a kick challenge. Uh, we won't get through all the kick challenge uh, in class, but I'm gonna show you at least, uh, I'm gonna get you started, and then it'll be your responsibility to finish it out on your own. So the intermediates and advanced did this a few weeks ago when I taught them this. Um, and then the warrior beginners just did it last class. So what we're going to do. Okay. Man, y'all look like y'all chilling. Like y'all ready to just chill out, relax and not do anything and just, and just cruise. and like, uh-huh. I ain't doing no class or anything. Uh-huh. I see that Keyshawn. I see that grin too. Like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this class. Uh-huh. I'm gonna sit as long as I can. All right. So no, I'm just kidding. But, um, so, so it's, it's going to be a kick challenge. There's going to be five rounds of it. We're going to do one round at least. Okay. We'll see how much time we get through, uh, through this one round. All right. So what I need y'all to do though, is both of you to get into a sparring stance. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to do first, we're going to do front kicks. All right. One leg. Okay. We're going to do 10 front kicks. My counts. Ready? And one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I love it. Y'all keeping your hands up. That's really good. Nine. Good. Ten. All right. Go ahead and switch feet. All right. Now we're going to do this side. Same thing. Front kicks. One, two. Three, four, five. Good. Now, Krupa, on the front kicks, you want your toes up. Okay. So, to help with that, all right, is um, A, when you're leaning backwards, you're, you're kind of twisting your body. Instead, I want you to stay leaning forward, and I want you to just pick the knee up. Okay. Just pick the knee up right in front of you, so that way then, you're still stationed right. So. Okay, so instead of leaning backwards, stay kind of leaning forward a little bit. All right, just take the knee up and then kick right in front of you. Okay, imagine Keyshawn's head is right there in front of you. All right, and kick it. Okay. All right, so here we go. <laughs> and, uh, six. Good, seven. That was better. That was better. Hey, it's okay. Improvement. Eight. Nice, very nice. Nine. And 10. All right, Keyshawn, fix your belt before it comes undone, sir. All right, so 
Now go ahead and switch sides. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do round kicks. Okay, so this is the one where it does come across just like so, yes. All right, so here we go, you ready? And by the way, you are also welcome to do the front leg or the back leg, okay? If you're doing a front leg style, then you're doing it sparring style. If you're doing a back leg, then you're doing kind of board breaking style or power style, all righty? So, anywho, round kicks. And one. Uh, two. Three. Four. Five. Good. And then to just stay, just to make sure, especially for anybody watching this recording, when you're doing a back leg round kick, your other foot, you want to make sure you pivot. Okay? So when you're here, I right, notice my knee comes up, my foot comes up, and then it comes to my butt. As I turn, okay, this foot that's not kicking is going to turn with me until it's pointing away from the target and then a kick. Okay? It is very important you pivot. All right? It is very important you pivot. You could hurt yourself if you don't. Okay? And Krupa, I'd say, because I know you're doing the back leg as well, just be careful. I don't know if you're on carpet as well, so just don't get burned. All right? Don't get carpet burned. Okay? All right, so here we go. Uh, let's see what number I'm on. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very nice, very nice. All right, now, other side, same thing. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next one we're going to do. Now we're going to switch eyes and now we're going to do a side kick. Okay? If we're doing a back leg side kick, all right, we still need to pivot, but instead of my knee coming out, I only keep it in and swing it up like so, okay? All right, there are some, uh, I know some instructors that also enjoy, uh, do teach kind of doing it this direction. For me, that's not how I learned it, so I, all power to them, okay? There's many different ways you can do all kinds of kicks, all right? So, but majority of the time, no matter what, you end up here. Make sure your knee is into your chest as much as you can, okay? Another terminology I've heard a couple times is knee to the back elbow, all right? And then pull your toes back, all right? So when you pull your toes back and you're here, when you go to kick, you don't have to move them already. They're already out of the way because when you kick with a side kick, you want to hit with the heel, all right? Because that's what's attached to the leg, okay? So you're going to have all that power behind that heel. Kick with your toes, of course, you're not going to have that power, all righty? So, so when you do it, full motion, this is what it looks like. Come through, side kick. All right. If you do the front leg, of course, you don't have to do the swing then. You just bring the knee to your chest and push out. Okay, but anyhow, all right, sparring stance. And one. Good, two. Good, now, Krupa, and, uh, you to make sure it doesn't look like a round kick, okay, instead of, uh, when you're here, and instead of bringing your knee in and toes back here, okay, to your butt, I want you to push them out here, okay? So that way then, because this is a push kick, so then you can push out. Better, better, much better. All right, and three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And then remember, Keyshawn, the more you bring that knee to your chest, the better and stronger that kick's going to be. Yes. Okay, here we go. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, switch legs. Here we go. Side kicks on this side. And one. Two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent, excellent. All right, so that was one round. You just completed 60 kicks. We did 10 front kicks with the left leg, 10 front kicks with the right leg. 10 left round, 10 right round. 10 left side, 10 right side. So that's 60 kicks you just did. That is one round. It's a 300 kick challenge. So you got four rounds to go, all right? And for time purposes, that way we can get through the form. I'm not gonna focus on getting through another round or so, but like I said, do it on your own and complete the 300 kick challenge, okay? Yeah. From here, I don't know where Cooper went, but we're going to work now, transition into the form. All right, so Keyshawn, how do you feel on the form? Feel pretty solid? Okay, all right, go ahead and um, Krupa, how do you feel on the form? Pretty solid on it too? Okay, perfect. So, got about 10 minutes left or so, so uh, utilize this time as much as possible to go through the form. If you have any questions on it, um, it doesn't have to be necessarily what moves comes after this. It could be, you know, why, how, when, where, all right? And then um, finish out with this, okay? All righty. So your form, your count, begin. And if you need any help, wait here. Keyshawn, excellent front stance. There you go, Krupa, good job. Excellent front stance as well, Krupa. You know, they'll say that um, I've noticed front stances are one of the hardest stances to actually get down um, because of the fact of distance. You know, there's multiple ways you could you can make a front stance look crazy. Whether it's too wide, too short, too short this way, too long this way. So finding that comfortable spot is really challenging. And I have to say, both of you have some of the best front stances I've seen in a while, especially from the beginner group. Especially from the beginner group. So just want to say that, make that statement out there. Good, good, good. Remember power, 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 power. Form loves power. Very good, very good. Excellent. Pop quiz, can either one of you tell me what the definition of Wadong is? Keyshawn, you wanna try it out? Um, but like, do I say the whole thing? Say how much you know, yeah. If you wanna say the whole thing. Krupa, do you know any of it? No? All right, so go ahead, Keyshawn, then, yeah. The 29 moves represents the 29th Infantry Division, okay. and, and Warong was named after the Warong Youth Group. Okay. That's all I know. All right, very good. That's about half of it. That's awesome. Do you know where it originated? The Old Dynasty. See the Old Dynasty, good. Do you remember what century? Um, seventh. Good, good, good. And then, so after the 29 movements refer to the 29th Infantry Division, where Taekwondo developed into a military maturity. Good job. Pretty good. Yeah. So make sure both of y'all working together and uh, remember that definition because you still could be asked that this testing. All right. And by the way, have, I, have we talked about how testing is going to go this cycle? Do y'all know? Okay. So, 
Um, the way that it's going to work this cycle for testing, there's going to be two different options. Okay. Um, you're going to have option one, which is going to be in person. All right. So it'll be, you know, selected times and things of that nature. So that way we don't have 300 people all at once, but, um, but you'll come in in the class. If you, if you wish, if you like, uh, you'll come into testing and you'll do kind of like how we did testing last cycle still with the uh, recordings. So you'll do the form, you'll do the sparring version that, um, uh, you're going to do the cycle um, and then, uh, you know, go from there. Uh, if the other option is still having that online option, but the online option is actually going to change a little bit. Okay. And what I mean by that is instead of recording video and then submitting it, what you're going to do, what they're going to do is they're going to have, you know, say, for example, I'm going to have a three o'clock slot. Mr. Ball will have a three o'clock slot, uh, slot. Mr. Haynes will have a three o'clock slot. And say, Keyshawn, you get with me at three, and Krupa, you get with Mr. Haynes at three, and somebody got with Miss ba Miss Baba at three, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll do it kind of like this, where you'll dial in, all right, and then I'll be sitting here, I'll be like, okay, all right, now go to June B. All right, let me see your form. All right, excellent, perfect. Okay, now go to the sparring stance, or go to your sparring stance, and let me see your sparring. So it'll be a live, it'll still be a live testing. Um, it'll just be zoom style all right so either way works um either way is option uh is doable um it yeah. just depends on how you uh how you, you want to do it or how mom and dad wants to do it so any questions on that no okay so like i said um they'll uh you may get asked that definition so i uh, definitely want to make sure you know the definition and um yeah all right any questions overall? No? All right. Y'all ready to go into the challenge for the month? Yeah. Two. Y'all. Were y'all here yesterday's class? Were y'all here yesterday's class? No? Okay. All right. So today's the first time you're doing it uh, this month then, right? Okay. All right. I was trying to remember. I was like, I know I see you all the time, but I was like, I don't remember y'all being here yesterday's class. But anyhow, so what we're going to do is – you're gonna to need to find either a door, a solid door, or a wall. And I say solid door because I don't want you to go through the wall. <laughs> um, but what you're gonna do, whoops. Me and this core are gonna fight. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a solid wall and then you're going to, we're gonna do wall sits, all right? So make sure you're here, back against the wall. And then if you wanna challenge it, hands are out in front of you, okay? We're gonna do it for one minute, all right? One minute today. All righty, we're gonna do it one minute. Once both of y'all get set up, we will get um, going. All right, y'all both ready, good to go? All right, here we go. One minute and begin. Excellent. Like I said, the hands out is totally optional and it's totally your choice. You do not have to do that. Main thing is, you're ideally sitting in a chair on the wall without the chair, and then your back's against the wall. About 30 seconds left, halfway there. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds, almost done. Three, two, one, and time. All righty. All right. Great job to you two today. All right, fantastic forms. Okay, keep practicing because testing is next weekend. All right, so we're about a week away from testing. Other than that, have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see y'all next class. All right, y'all dismissed. See y'all later. Bye. See you, Keyshawn. <laughs>